Our top story tonight, a fire devastates a family's apartment. The flames robbed them of the home they built to welcome their new baby girl. This happened just one day after bringing her, bringing her home. They told our Alicia Neaves the fire started with an appliance many of us have in our homes right now. Alicia? They're talking about an air fryer. They said they've used this same one plenty of times before with no problems until this time. They said it took the fire just under two minutes to begin. Amaya Rose is 19 days old today. I just knew I was over the moon. And here I have this little eight pound, two ounce little chunk in my arms. I'm like, I get to protect you for the rest of my life. And Little did Joshua know that would include saving his baby girl from a fire just days after she was born. I'm like, OK, I haven't really put out a fire in my life. Let's see if I can figure this out. It happened two weeks ago. Joshua and Brianna Spears threw some wings in the air fryer for dinner. The implicit instructions were to use them in the air fryer. In the less than two minutes it took for Joshua to close the fryer's basket and make a quick trip to the car. The air fryer caught flame. Brianna saw the flames and ran out the door with Amaya. You didn't hear anything. All you could see was black smoke. Joshua tried to stop the flames using the fire extinguisher. It went out, thought the fire was good, reignited and used the rest of the foam in the canister and it reignited. By that time, the air fryer was engulfed. Flames were to the hood of the stove. I was this close to saying, you know, I could probably just try and unplug it and throw it outside. I heard her screaming outside, you need to get out. Firefighters arrived quickly, punching holes in the ceiling to ventilate the smoke. Although the flames were isolated to the kitchen, the family lost everything to the smoke. The craziest thing is she's outside in her basket and asleep sleeping through the whole thing. Their son Bo wasn't home. They moved into a unit close by that they say <laughs> is starting to feel more like home. The family is set with donations for Amaya, but all of the back to school clothes, for example, for their son, he starts school next week. That's all gone. If you would like to help this family, we have the link to their GoFundMe page on our website, kens5.com right now. Just click on this story. Live in the newsroom, Alicia Neyavis, Kens 5. Thank you, Alicia.